The goal of the incubator is to get games out into the world commercially. We're not really telling the, the developers how they need to spend their time. We're saying that what your goal should be to launch this game. We're going to give you some tools to do that. And then when they come in every day, they are working on figuring out how to launch their games. We had some really cool like local multiplayer games. We had puzzle games. We look around and we say, well, what, what projects are interesting? And do we have the resources? Do we have the expertise? Do you have a game that's ready for this kind of program? The incubator has definitely been a, a really nice kind of fine-tuned experience to kind of have um, feedback and interaction with various people in the games community. It's allowed us a lot of focus. We didn't really have a whole big picture idea, and I think the incubator's been really good for helping us figure that out. It gives us a chance to you know take one step back and see whether our game is already in the you know like in the right direction or not. There is something nice about just being in a workspace with a bunch of other people who are who are creating something. It's so great to just be able to turn to the person next to you and say, hey, what do you think about this? Or you need somebody to play, play characters for trailer footage, which is <laughs> always helpful. Everyone's kind of with each other in their whole process of where they are in like marketing or gameplay or like what their vision is. I would say it's more like a family, I would say, during mm -hmm. the time. The advisory board is a group of industry professionals who've been working in games for years. We've got um, experienced developers and designers, we've got uh, people who are familiar with marketing and legal. We take a lot of pride in sort of doing everything ourselves when it comes to the games development, but it's sort of a lonely road. So just to know that there are people supporting us and willing to answer all these difficult questions and help us, you know, ask these ourselves too, um, that's a really good feeling. And all these advisors have a lot of investment in like seeing these projects do well. And so it's also really interesting seeing professionals from all over the games industry and kind of give what they think that your game should need. And feedback that is well informed and you know understands the, the types of things that you're dealing with. There's nobody better at pulling off the band-aid for you than people that have uh, had to do it themselves. For us, it would be a lot of sort of guessing in the dark and, or hypotheticals. They're able to sort of give us more concrete data and, and feedback. Really, it's the, the people I've talked to and really helped me kind of figure out the business end of my game. Every major award for games, one of the Incubator Project has been, has been a part of that. I think actually what's most impressive about our crew this year is they're sometimes here before I am. Teams are working very hard. They've accomplished a tremendous amount individually and, and collectively in terms of making work, publishing it, getting it out there. The program is, is working and is successful, which is just you know, super gratifying, exciting to see. The main reason people should be excited about these games is they're new, you know, they're not the work you're seeing out there every day. And you can come to the events and meet the developers. I think that's a really unique opportunity. The, there's going to be a public showcase on uh, Friday, September 8th, and it's going to be right here in the Game Center, and so it's an opportunity for the public to come in and see, before anyone else has an opportunity to play these games, what's coming out of the incubator, what's coming out of the Game Center, and, um, and, and have some fun doing it. <laughs>